here with Sacred Insights 101, ready to do your reading for July. The very first card that you got is from the Miriam. She's talking about sacred vision. And what they want you to notice about this card is that there are two of them. And they also want you to notice these three flowers. So we have a flower for her kind of thing, a flower for her, and then they're both pointing to this flower in the middle. And what they're speaking to is the energy of one, the energy of the other, and then the, sort of that third sort of energy that comes about when two people get together. They, when two people get together, they kind of not really in mesh, but there's there's this energy and this energy, and then when the two get together, there's there's this kind of this kind of stuff going on. <laughs> They're also wanting to point out that both both figures are kind of the same, and the message here is that we sort of mirror each other in life. They're, they're, they're saying for you guys in July, there's a bit of a people, they want you to be aware and notice that if at any time in July, you sort of your, um, your buttons get pushed because of maybe something that someone else says or does, have a sort of an increased awareness around if your buttons get pushed about what someone else is saying or doing. They are mirroring you, is what they're saying. They're mirroring you in a way that is mm, sort of meant to push your buttons, <laughs> to invite you to look at that, you know. So if a button gets pushed, look at that, what is this about, kind of thing. So maybe coming from some other people, and the reason we say this is because karma is releasing for you guys. Karma is going to be releasing a bit in July for you, and so people that you interact with will be uh, in some ways mirroring you where, okay, so someone else is maybe saying something, it's bothering you, uh, you might notice that it bothers you. Uh, when that happens, see if there's something in you that's either similar to that or exact opposite of that, or what part of your past, what part of your past is that pushing that wants to release? That's what they're saying for you guys. These are kind of a bit of a short reading, so I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily call that fundamental to your reading, but uh, that will be coming up for you. So just notice it. Just kind of you know have a higher awareness to when your buttons get pushed. What's that about? Because it's a, it's something in you. It, it has to be in order for a button to get pushed. Does that make sense? You're also going to be balancing some career and home life. So with that balance, you know, this could mean so many things. Uh, this could be, um, this could be connected to this kind of thing. It could be work people pushing buttons. They also could be family members pushing buttons. At the same time, this could be completely separate <clears throat> from excuse me, from what um, what may be going on for you in July. You may be balancing your home life with your career. And that feels like it's it's about getting along with people. So yeah, so she does want to come back. It feels like your balancing act with uh, career and home has to do with um, mm, mm, honoring yourself over upsetting others. Be gentle with yourself. This one's coming up to be gentle with yourself. Uh, be very gentle at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. So what this is saying is that with a higher awareness and higher sensitivities in July, uh, um, they're just inviting you to, you know, step away from any drama. If there's any drama that comes up with this balancing act, uh, any drama that comes up, um, you know, step away. Notice maybe if somebody's pushing buttons so that you can release some things regarding either work or home. 
uh, and then and then make sure that you take um, a good amount of time to uh, you know mm, hang out with really fun people and and um, you know gentle environments out in nature he's playing an instrument you know there's something very soothing about this uh, Sandophon is, is very soothing so where this can feel you know buttons getting pushed and karma's releasing traumas releasing from your past could be past lives as well just letting it go that kind of managing energy also balancing you know balancing can go like this on a regular basis so this can sort of be an ongoing sort of situation for you guys coming up in July and so make sure that you take some time to surround yourself with gentleness and being kind to yourself you're also getting to meditate on things this meditation card I love this medication card because he's smiling so this is about finding this balance. This is about, you know, going into meditation, uh, imagining how you'd like for this thing to, for, for a career and home life to balance out for some of you. And then he's just smiling. So this is referring to the kind of meditation where you spend a good bit of time imagining what you want that puts a smile on your face. You're also getting Saint Anthony, Saint Anthony is coming up to say you found it. He wants to come up after meditation with smiles. You know, this is sort of uh, calm, happy meditations. It's like you're going to find some things. You're going to find some revelations. Some of these revelations could be regarding some of this that's releasing when buttons get pushed. Some things, uh, some of you may find balance. You may find sort of solutions. Maybe where things are out of balance in meditation, you will find these sort of revelations that make you smile, that will, will solve um, certain situations for you regarding the balancing in career. It's also time in July for you to take your leadership role. Those of you who resonate with this, it's a time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. This is the second row, so it may or may not be somehow connected to what they have said so far, but it could as a leader. This could have to do with this. As a leader, it's time. It's time to sort of step into a leadership role. And then the role model that you get from the saints and angels is Mother Teresa, the activist, is stepping in as a role model for, um, if this resonates with you, for a role model in terms of how you'd like to be a leader in the world. You're also getting the sweetness card, and the sweetness is coming up with communication. And this is coming up underneath these two, which is interesting. Uh, communication with sweetness um, is coming up with being gentle and having gentleness in your world where there might be some balance that's required um, at work or at home or between the two, um, communication is going to be really important, but you can do that in a, in a gentle way. You can do that in a sweet, gentle way. So what's interesting about these two cards, I mean, you can, you can look at these two cards and see how different they are. This is very, very powerful. This is Mercury. Um, he's very commanding, right? He's very sure of himself. He's very confident. Um, he, this person would be communicating in a certain way, and this person, doesn't she feel like she would have a very gentle voice, a very soft, gentle voice? So it's as if to say that when you communicate, your words can be very commanding and powerful, but they can be expressed in a way that's very um, sweet and kind and gentle there's a way for you to communicate yeah see this is coming back 
as far as balancing, this is also coming back where people might be pushing buttons. There's a way to sort of stand up for yourself and communicate what you'd like to communicate as a powerful leader at work or at home with any anybody that you'll be communicating with in July. There, allow yourself to um, you know, sort of meditate on how could you communicate the most, most powerfully so that it's best sort of received what you'd like to say, what you have to say that can make a difference for your own life or for the life of um, your workplace, your home. There's a way to do it that's very commanding and yet keeping in mind this sort of sweetness. You can do these two together. These are wanting to come together. When this card came out also, because it's Mercury, which is a planet, the sort of element of sort of astrology came up. And you know how sometimes, um, uh, it's not one of my specialties, but there are some astrologers where when they lay out the month, they'll say, you know, this is the best day for this, this is the best day for that. On these days, you don't want to even try communication, right, if Mercury is in retrograde or something. So when this card came out too, they wanted me to share that to say, um, you might want to sort of look up one of those sites to see there might be some days that are better than other days to communicate uh, with whatever you have to say. You know, any kind of open communication might be better on certain days than other days. And that's coming up because this is Mercury. So they're wanting to uh, invite you to notice that. July can also be filled with some artistic expression. This is coming up with your uh, career and home life uh, and balancing that. And at the same time, while it's coming up with this, it's also catty corner. It's like this. It's like some artistic expression could have something to do with the way that you communicate at work or in terms of balancing that. This uh, with another meaning is also saying just again, the same way that what they were saying, take some time to be gentle with yourself. Take some time in July to just you know sort of get away from everybody and get into your own little world imagining what you're really wanting with a smile on your face. And they're also saying to take some time for artistic expression, whether it's painting, drawing, writing, any kind of artistic expression that you enjoy doing. They're inviting you to do that in July. You're also getting the prosperity card. Your final card is prosperity. And it's saying that your material needs will be taken care of. Um, uh, just follow your intuition as you manifest your dreams into reality. Uh, this is kind of your, this is your final card. And it's speaking to career and the balancing of that with your home life. There may be some shifts. There may be some change this, that you make in order to make this balance. And they're wanting you to know that prosperity is there for you um, as you manifest your dreams into reality, whatever it is that you'd like to create. The prosperity will be there for you as you create it, she's saying, while you're working on things, but also as whatever it is that you do create, let's say that you, artistic expression, let's say that you do a painting, then that painting will sell. <laughs> And the prosperity is there for you in the final sort of, um, if you, if just as, as an example, uh, if you're an artist and you do that as part of your career, that prosperity is there for you as you manifest your dreams into reality. As you manifest and also once things are completed and you're in that sort of career phase of any artistic expressions for those of you that this resonates with, the prosperity is there for you in July. All right. Have a great July, everybody. I love you guys. Until next time, take really good care of yourselves, and we'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.